Good afternoon, planet Earth. Every time I say that, I have to look at the time. I never really know like what time it is, unless I'm doing these videos. It's kind of bizarre. Um, so, I have just finished up writing uh, a five-page paper for... Oh, I my finger. It's really difficult. Anyways, finished writing a five-page paper for my education class. Um, I started writing it. It's, well, I had to finish it by five, because I have meetings and, and things. And i got to get it in by 6.30. Um, so I started writing it, of course, at about about three. Um, I discovered last year that I had the ability to write long papers in a very short amount of time and still have it be relatively high quality. Um, so that's good. Uh, oh, I don't think I've shown you these glasses yet. So some of you may know that I last year purchased my first pot because prior to that I lived entirely off of Subway and pizza. Um, I have been drinking out of plastic cups and eating off of paper plates and paper bowls, and this year, big step forward here, guys. I purchased four plastic cups. Look at these. They're massively thick. I'm actually kind of thinking that maybe they're not meant to be cups. I think they were actually called, like, tumblers or something, and you're supposed to eat soup out of them. But I find that it's still functional to drink out of them as I just demonstrated. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and what I'm drinking out of them too is great too because it's V8 Fusion. 100% juice, vegetables, and fruit. And you can only taste the fruit, which is great because I wouldn't want to drink vegetable juice because the vegetable juice just sounds and would probably taste really gross and it's just utterly not appealing to me. So, awesomeness, nutrition. Anyone who's concerned about my, my nutrition, my diet, don't be, guys. I got it under control. Um, I was definitely going to say something else. Oh, cleaned off my whiteboard today. Check that out. Oh, I don't know why I'm turning my whole computer. I couldn't just turn that. Yep, I'm going to check out my whiteboard, which, for those of you who saw the video of uh, me and a few others trying to put it up, we were all taking bets on how long it would stay up, and like I think the biggest bet was like a day was the longest amount of time anyone was expecting. And like a month later, and it's still up. So I, I think that's pretty impressive. We have one piece of sticky tack on the middle. And then on the bottom, it's kind of supported over there uh, by some stuff to keep it balanced. Um, but I'm, I'm quite impressed by this overall. Um, yep. Uh, so, oh, I had a question from a comment uh, last time uh, asking about double majoring and saying, you know, do you have to pay anything extra to double major? And the answer to that is... Typically, no, because if you complete your double major, well, to double major, you need to have at least a 3.0 uh, GPA, um, and you can then submit a double major request form or something, whatever, proposal, and um, as long as you complete it within four years, it's fine, but you're, as a double major, you're allowed to request to stay for a fifth year uh, to satisfy the requirements for both majors, and if you do that, there will be a tuition uh, hike relative to the four-year thing, because you are staying for a fifth year. Um, um, other than that, it's good. Uh, I am off in a few minutes to head to meetings with my writing advisors. Um, at MIT, you're required to take uh, communications intensive courses, uh, two outside your major and two inside your major. Um, and part of the requirement of these courses is that, is that you meet with people in like the writing department to like go over papers you've written and stuff, which, um, you know, I don't enjoy very much because because I do write a lot, so in general my articles, I mean my my essays are okay, uh, but I understand why they have the requirement, it's, it's a good requirement. Um, um, I'm going to probably be coming out, if you're interested in more like MIT requirement stuff, uh, like my how to get into MIT video uh, was very popular, and I think I'll probably be coming out with some more videos regarding requirements once you're at MIT. Um, how to graduate from MIT, uh, things like that. So, I check those out if you're interested. Once they come out, you can't check them out now because I haven't made them yet. Um, thanks as usual for all of your views and watching me ramble about like nothing. Uh, and as always, hit the subscribe button, which I think is up here. It also could be up there, possibly there or there, but I'm going to guess it's like one of those two. Um, 
And you should also, I have a Facebook uh, journalist page, or no, not journalist, I'm a public figure on Facebook. Uh, Ryan Normandon, check that out. Follow me on Twitter, Ryan Normandon. So yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, like my Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. It's my multimedia empire. Until next time, peace.